to Mystic Essentials, and today we are going to do your facing your fears, right? So we're going to the Dark Mirror Oracles for fear, block, holes, and regrets, followed by main energies of these fears, blocks, holes, or regrets. And then we are going to see what the darkness is surrounding your fears, blocks, holes, or regrets. Then we're going to Doorway Gateway to Spirit for spiritual messages, right? Anything that needs to be surrendered, released, we will. Anything that needs to be broken down, we will. So, um, I just finished Pisces reading, right? So, Pisces had like a heavy reading. So, I'm shuffling the cards, getting everything ready. And guess what pops out? The same card Pisces had out of the deck, Sacrifice. So I don't know if you have a link to any Pisces or spirit says water signs. But uh, Pisces um, reading actually got cut into two parts. All right. So when I say it was heavy, it was heavy. So I said, okay, let me take a break before I go and, you know, calm down before I get to Taurus. So Taurus, let me tell you this. If I haven't told you already, happy birthday. My grandmother and my father's... Uh, it's Taurus, right? So, um, the, the, the most injuring numbers, right, on the boards at this time are fours and twos, right? If you're new to my channel, I'm Lee. I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits, right? So, for all signs for the last couple of months, a lot of fours and twos have been coming out. And what makes the fours and the twos dangerous because your thought and action are the triggers that toggle fours and twos from positive to negative and from the light to the dark so let's be careful so your first fear block a whole lot spirit gave it to you you know at the gate is the sacrifice so let's see what is another fear block a whole spirit what is another fear block a whole for taurus for me you have two when i say they came out so fast but the thing about these two one is face up and one is face down this is the one you can't see. This one is peaceful among thorns. Peaceful in pain. Really? And what you cannot see is that black flower fragrance. Listen, Taurus. If you have been journeying with me for a while, you already know this is one of the cards I can't stand. It's like two in this deck. And this is one of the two. This black flower fragrance talks about you literally saying, fuck the world. So who has made you mad or who has put you in a place of pain that you literally saying to hell with it? Be careful, Taurus. Be careful. So look, let's look at these energies. Spirit for sacrifice. What are the energies surrounding the sacrifice for Taurus? Worry. Anxiety. Can't sleep at night and a storm is coming. Be careful. And for a peaceful among thorns and this black flower fragrance coming out fast. Oh, uh, oh, no wonder. A caring connection. Oh, the hell with it, huh? Hurt and pain. Spirit, what is the darkness surrounding this sacrifice for Taurus? Sacrifice, self-worth, what you need to see, baby. What is it that you do not see in, within yourself? Where is your heart, Taurus? And for a peaceful among thorns and its black flower fragrance spirit, look at hiding. Your card is here, but it does not want to be seen. Look, deceit. Trying to hide, Taurus. Deceit. What is the spiritual message, spirit? What cannot be seen in the physical, but is there in the spiritual for the sacrifice? Okay, listen. Card comes out face up. And it has been coming for a lot of signs. This hawk prince, but guess what the hawk prince does? Jumps on top of the darkness deck. So, this is your card. Reminder. There are triggers here. Actions or a message that you need to focus on about this sacrifice, Taurus. 
and spirit for peaceful among thorns and this black flower fragrance with this caring connection of the sea. What's the spiritual message for Taurus? Woo, Taurus. Thank you, spirit. Fire Prince, it's a little work here. It's a little work. Nothing bad. You either going to heat up a situation or blow up a situation. I'm telling you now, this Fire Prince don't play. So let's close it out and let's look at your first focal point. And let me make sure I got them all to, Yeah, I got them together. So our first fear, block, hole, or regret, Taurus, is sacrifice. What are you sacrificing? Who are you sacrificing? Who are you sacrificing for? And this is a card of seven. What is seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection. And this could talk about a situation coming. If it has not happened in the new moon cycle, it could be coming actually around this time because... This is a time, or the moon is when the, uh, no, because it's the new moon coming in. So if it hasn't happened, the beginning of May, this is going to happen around April, beginning of April, sacrifice. Now, let me tell you something, Taurus, in this uh, image, you are a feminine energy, dressed up, suited up, booted up, ready to go, or you're either coming out of a battle or coming out of a situation that you were battling in, you were warring in, you were fighting in. And the thing about the feminine energy, what are feminine feminine energies? Feminine energies are the negative energy holders. But you suited up and booted up in your negative energy. And what have you been doing? Using your sword. Whether you have been beating someone down physically, mentally, emotionally. Spiritually, it doesn't matter because that weapon <clears throat> of choice that you've chosen is the sword. But what I want you to pay attention to is the face. Look, one eye in the physical and one eye in the spiritual of illumination, right? There's something here about the sacrifice. And with, along this sacrifice is that worry. Nine. What is the nine? The nine calls for your attention to a situation worry your head is down your head is bowed you've been crying you've been depressed and feeling all down so down that you don't even see that storm coming in the background and some of you are going to be surprised because that is that lightning lightning talks about uh surprises sudden changes oh my god yeah right and then together these made what the seven seven is a number of self-reflection Taurus sacrificing and worry. Y'all better get with it. I don't know. Let's see. Spirit, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted for the sacrifice for Taurus? Worry towards the sacrifice could be. And your card comes out face down. Surrender to silence. Surrender to silence. What is it? It says, in quiet meditation, because you're by yourself here. Mm-hmm. Or contemplation. Mm -hmm. Right? Let go and enter the stillness within. Both of these make the seven. Facing the fact, facing the problem. Whether it's the sacrifice or the worry about the sacrifice. What have I been sacrificing? Why did I do that? Why did I do this? That head is bowed over here towards sacrifice. Mm hmm it says silence can heal and replenish you. Replenish you from what you've been going through, right? That's that battling. That's that warring. That's that sacrifice. Or clear your mind. Anxiety. You have anxiety within your what? Mental. So what have you really been doing with that sword? Beating others or beating yourself? Huh? Yeah. And you are to a point. That you don't even see your self-worth or you don't see a way out or you don't see a way up because self-worth that's coming out of the darkness of illumination, right? Illuminating your self-worth is a card of five. What is five? Change. What does Taurus need to do? Change how they see themselves. Change the value of themselves. Not hard to do, is it? Unless you're just down, down so low. 
buy bread and solo. But it's okay because here you have a choice to receive the message or not because the Hawk Prince is a card of two. What is the two? Twos talk about pairs. What pairs? Receiving the message about your self-worth or the sacrifice and the worry. Which pairs? Which pairs? Or is it the reminder of spiritual communication and paying attention? Which pair? See, pairs. Twos also talk about doorway, gateway, thresholds, right? Access points. Two, twos talk about the common factors or the connecting factors of two becoming one. Communication factors of conversating and debating. The conversating is the talking and the compromising. The debating is the yelling, the fighting, the arguing, the battling. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you need to do, what you need to focus on, what is it that you need to see or pay attention to? Twos. Right? And they're telling us this serves as a reminder. Don't forget. Don't forget, and this is a card of one. What is the one? One you, one thought, one journey. What must you be reminded of along your journey, within your mental, or within yourself, right? It is. Along your journey, you need to pay attention and receive the message, right? This is your reminder. I'm telling you, this is how it play out. The one you, you are valuable. You are worthy. I don't care what somebody tells you. I don't care what the situation is. Find your power. This is your reminder. And what is the thought? Sacrificing the worry or worries that's causing sacrifice. What is your reminder? You see that? What is your reminder, Taurus? And then the thing here, when you... Look at your self-worth and the hawk prints. They are called of these two are called of seven. What is seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection. Reflecting your value upon spirit communication or reflecting your value upon paying attention. A lot of you are getting ready to wake up. It's a message here in your silent times, in your quiet times, out of worry. You will find yourself no longer able to deal with the sacrificing. My plate is so heavy, Leah. It's heavy, Leah. I don't know what to do, Leah. I tell you what, if you don't get it together, that storm is coming, baby. It's a storm approaching. Whether it be a home situation, a work situation, a school situation, a physical situation. Could be an altercation because don't forget we have tools here. The law enforcement being called out. So, Taurus, you get your mind together. Because at the end of the day, when you like this, worry, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'm crying. Low vibration, baby. How can you figure out anything? Because you're allowing or you're increasing your mind, fog, mind, small, small block vision. No clear vision. No clear view. You got to have a bird's eye view in life. In everything we do, every which way we go. Whether it be us walking in the physical or in the spiritual. Let's go, Taurus. So let's look at the first thing. Let's look at this. Let's find out what this message is about. Because Spirit is saying, I have a message. Considering the fact that Spirit said, here, Taurus. I say, Spirit, who we going to do? We going to do um Aquarius? No, we going to do Taurus. I say, Taurus? Where it is? They birthday month. <laughs> So happy birthday. Let's go. Uh-uh. Y'all can't be feeling down. You got a party. Got to be up. So spirit for a hawk prince for Taurus. Clarify this hawk prince. What is the message that they need to pay attention to? Judgment towards communication or paying attention to end the cycle. Look, end the cycle. Judgment to end the cycle. Final decision, end of a cycle. Final decision. Towards ending a cycle. And let me tell you something about this ten of swords. Something must end in order for something else to begin. Right? A cycle must end in order for a new cycle to begin. And Taurus, as soon as you end, a, no, a new one is going to be right there. Why? For one, the, the person wears 
orange upon their head. That means uh, obstacles being removed, way being clear in the head, in your mental. And down here at your bottom, you wear white and orange. The purification or clarity of open road, open way, white and orange. Even though you all stabbed up and you land, ah! Oh! The good thing about it is you fell in the water, honey. What is the water? Water does not just only represent emotions. It represents life. In order to have life, you must have water. Even before a baby heart beats, there's water in the body. Yeah. So when one cycle ends, another begins. So what's under the bottom of the deck? Come on, baby. The hermit is here. And I'm going to tell you something about the hermit. The hermit is traveling alone towards that light. That light right there that's in front of them. And what is that light taking them to? Or taking the hermit towards? Divine worth. Divine value. Whether it be value or self-worth of yourself. Or what makes you loved or feel loved. You don't see them hearts? Yeah. Let's go, Taurus. Right? So going towards divine word. A heartbreak was here. Three of swords. Towards who? The queen of staff. Aren't you fire sign? And that is divine truth. And I'm going to tell you something else. Don't get all... um. involved in these queen of staff because we're doing um our fears reading and i'm not the one that usually calls out like fire sign air sign anyway but this is what i want you to know taurus taurus is a earth sign i'm talking about a fire sign <laughs> when you talk about the queen of staff right because it is a queen it is the negative energy holder, right? So let me show you your feminine energy. Queen, a staff. All of these three energies that you have here, that sacrifice is feminine energy. The worry and the anxiety is feminine energy. And the self-worth is feminine energy because they're telling you you need to change your self-worth or how you view your self-worth. Feminine energies. This is what needs to be changed. What has caused the sacrifice? See, what has caused the worry and what has caused you to be uh, not paying attention or upgrading yourself or your self-worth? Heartbreak was here, baby. Feminine energy. What must you do? Take action. The queen, the feminine energy of action, passion, drive, right? A heartbreak was here. And they're coming in here and telling us it's time to what? Face divine truth. Let's get with it. Taurus. So going towards your divine worth. Whether it is your self-worth. You know. What makes you happy. What makes you feel loved. Okay. So. Let's keep reading. Let's read into it some more. Manifesting. The magician. Someone is manifesting. I'm crazy. Eight of cups is here. Six of swords. Somebody is what? Moving away from a loss, baby. And they need to. This is the five of coins. Why? Because someone is mentally stuck. They're telling us what happened in this heartbreak on a king of love. A masculine energy of love. Someone who embodies a lot of love within a foundation could be. Or a situation, but you better pay attention to them for a staff because they can be what? That's that toggle. Huh. Laying down burdens of a what? Commitment. Listen. Or a relationship. Situationship. Let's back up. Back it all the way up. So someone is manifesting towards a new plan to bring forth a new plan that is being led by their emotions. A spiritual, see, our horse above this person had feelings of a spiritual emotions going towards the spiritual of their emotions, right? Manifesting a new, manifesting a new plan. 
And in this plan, they're going to move out of or away from a loss. Now, let me explain both of these cards. The Six of Swords, right? Water is here. And water is actually uh, uh, all over your reading. Water. Water represents emotions, life, or cleansing factor. Someone is moving towards recovery and the way is being clear because that's the four swords and this boat is orange. Someone is getting their mind right. That's the white over the head about love or defeat, the indecision between the two swords of love and defeat as they journey in love or defeat. But listen, because they are traveling upon the water and water is a cleansing factor, there is no defeat. Yeah, you can still be, um, you know, indecisive about love because technically they're indecisive about love. And what indicates it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because the sky is gray here. Gray talks about confusion. So someone has getting their mental right. They're getting their head right about the indecision of love so they can travel towards love. And the way is being clear for the recovery. See? And they're moving out of a loss. They're moving out the way of a loss. They're not no longer being held or stuck towards a loss. Now, the thing about this five of coin, someone is on their knees being held back by distractions. That is the four of coin. And they have put their divine worth or their divine value in the background or in the back of their mind. And this divine worth is surrounded by confusion again. Gray sky. But someone is going to what? Wake up. And what are they going to wake out of? Wake up from? Or what are they going to, you know, what, what, have I, what have I been doing? Oh, you've been stuck. Look at that. Water again. Water again. Look at all this water. Someone has been stuck. But why they were stuck and that block was there. <laughs> yeah. That four coins was holding their attention. They literally been getting their mind right. Mm -hmm. and figuring out the way they're going to journey. You see that? And look at the water. Soon as they cross over either screen, <laughs> purification, cleansing, there's no more mental blocks. Someone has been stuck on someone in love, a masculine energy of love, someone who embodies love and has had a strong love pull on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it could be within a foundation or a home. That's why I say you better pay attention to these fours. And I'm going to explain the four a staff. Within a foundation or a structure or in a situation, someone is laying down burdens. And what is going on within the four of a uh, staff? This can go two ways. And I'm going to say why two ways. Someone could be ending a relationship. For a new relationship. Because really this go over there, right? So I'm going to explain it. So they telling us somebody was stuck on somebody who had a love, a, a strong love pull on them. Right? Don't forget, somebody was getting their head right because you know why? They've been manifesting a new plan the whole time. So if you were the one trying to stop this person, block this person, they done stepped up in here and been manifesting whether you seen it or not. Or this could be you. It just depends. But somebody's been getting their mind right because it's too many whites over the head. And it's six of swords towards recovery. Wait, white over the head. And even being stuck on you or whoever you white over the head. Someone has been getting their uh, mind right. And not only that, they have been getting their journey together as well. Because look at the bottoms, it's white. And this person's head is wide open to receive all kind of messages in the crown. Yeah. So I don't know whoever was stuck. They coming out because they had already told us somebody's going towards divine worth, divine value. Yeah. See? So somebody's laying down burdens within a foundation or a home or a structure. Yeah. Or... Upon connecting factors because you have the two people there. See, somebody's laying down burdens. So what are the fours? Right? What are the fours? What needs to be buried? What needs to end? What needs to be completed? Restriction. Rejection. See? 
And then on the flip side, on the good side, what needs to be stabilized, what needs to be bought down, held down, settled down, calm down, grounded. Yeah. But they telling us somebody's laying down burdens within a, you know, foundation situation for us also talks about what is in the root of a situation? What is surrounding a situation? What is going on in a situation? Somebody getting ready to end some things. And what are they getting ready to end? This person who's laying down their burdens, they're getting ready to go on a new journey. That's the ace of staff. Outside or away from being what? A wounded warrior because they hold a nine of staff in the other hand. And when they go on this new journey, the ace of staff, what are they doing? Laying down a foundation of someone else or with someone else for a new relationship. That's why I say it can toggle back and forth. Someone is leaving a home or a job to go to a new connecting factor. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's a doorway gateway being presented. You talking about the twos. Someone is stepping up to the plate to becoming one. Marriages, uh relationships, business partnerships, it can go any any way. So I don't know what's going on, but this is what's happening. And when I say water is everywhere, your five of coins has water. Your six of swords has water. The king of cups has water. The eight of swords has water. The ace of swords has water the three of swords have water and the beginning the ten of swords have water and then don't forget that the hermit is traveling over here towards divine worth coming out of all uh, cleansing and purification of the water you see that somebody could be making a choice out of water fire and earth here <laughs> water fire and earth earth yeah so be careful i don't know what's going on but somebody making a decision judgment to end a cycle see somebody is making a decision to end a cycle hold on where my, where my, where my card went right here to end a cycle only to begin again baby I'm telling you, ten of swords and a judgment. Paying attention to your spirit communication. I'm telling you. Is that what you're worried about? Is that why you don't feel worthy enough? Right? Or is that what's causing you worry? All I sacrifice for in this relationship? Mm -hmm. I told you, tools talk about arguments, negotiations. Law enforcement being called out. Twos. I told you fours and twos are the most dangerous numbers on the board. Everybody has been getting them. And when I seen that sacrifice, I said, oh my God, sacrifice. Matter of fact, I tell you what, let's look at the sacrifice. And let's go and let's see what's going on with the sacrifice. Because I want to see. I want to know. Spirit for Taurus and the sacrifice. Because sacrifice is a number of seven self-reflection you are reflecting out your sacrifice but you're worried and then somebody's mental is being you know mental is here twice because they're telling us worry in the reminder where are you reminded at in your mental where are you worried at in your mental see mental now someone's like looking at their value. I don't know. You don't see me pretty enough. I'm not, you know, fine anymore. I don't have these kids. Sacrifice spirit for Taurus. Clarify sacrifice. What's this sacrifice? Resistance, baby. That knight of swords. This is the warring. Going to war. This could be talking about court cases, divorces, restraining orders. Yeah. Someone going to jail, fighting. See? Clarify the Knight of Swords, Spirit for Taurus. Y'all better get with it. Huh. Moving forward. Re you either resisting to move forward or somebody getting tired and they finna get gone. They finna go. They trying to make up their mind to recover. Somebody getting it in their head. I'm tired of fighting. 
Because see, look, the six of the six of swords in the night, they're literally clashing heads, bumping heads. Let's see what's under the bottom of the deck. The queen of coin. Now we talking about Taurus. Feminine energy. Earth sign. Towards what? Conflict. Five of staff. Temperance is here. Towards what though? That's six of staff, baby. Six of staff. Let me tell you about this. Uh, you know, Taurus. Towards that conflict of action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you talk about that feminine, let me let me just the feminine can, energy can come um from anything. Lack of knowledge, not seeing clearly. Anything can make you a feminine energy, right? But they're telling us towards that conflict, though. Right, Taurus? Divines are up in here with this divine healing. Divine guidance towards what? Towards your victory. Why? Because in your hand, you have the ace of staff, a new journey, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it don't matter. A new journey is at hand over the five of wands. What is the five of wands, that conflict of action? They telling us that you are going to be what? Successful. Bye-bye. Ain't no more sacrifice. Ain't no more uh, fighting. I'm just going to what? Go ahead and get it in my head and what? Recover. Move forward. Resistance. And it's all about mental, 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 mm -hmm. mental overaction. See that? Get out of your head and get go just go. Where are you going to find your answer? What do you need to see in the silent moments? And isn't that water down there? Water. It may be time to do a uh, spiritual cleanse, a spiritual bath. I have those. Or it may be time for you to go to the water and release your burdens. Let's go, Taurus. Y'all better get up out of this. All this fighting and arguing. You know how stressful that is? Then you over here and a storm is brewing and you don't see it coming. Not in a good place to be. Bird's eye view, baby. So let's move to your next fear block of hold with these, uh, with all this deceit in a relationship. Is the two one the first one rolling into the second one? What y'all got going on? Peaceful among thorns. They just told you to move out of that, right? They just told you the six of swords. And bye. What they say, bye, Felicia. Bye. Ain't no peaceful among thorns. And, and then the thing about it is peaceful among thorns is a card of eight. What is eight calling for a spirit in a situation, spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as a transformation. But there is confusion here because you have half moons, half moon talk about uh, confusion, being in a uh, stagnant position, not able to move or you think you're not able to move and sitting in that energy. Gonna push you right on over here to this full blue moon. Fuck the world. Fuck the situation. Fuck the uh relationship. Situationship. You see that? And the uh <laughs> black flower fragrance is a card of seven. What is seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection. Yeah. And then these two cards together make the six. What is the six? The balance, man. I'm telling you, the balance. An opportunity to balance yourself peaceful among thorns because ain't no peaceful it ain't no peaceful uh in in pain where's the peace where's where is it and healing yourself the world didn't do nothing to you but your chest is shattered full of darkness full of hurt full of pain or your heart is just cold black flower fragrance and i grew up in a time uh taurus well, black means death. You know, I, in my family, we were taught black flowers mean death. You know, so you be careful. Death of a heart, death of a heartbreak. What has caused a heartbreak? But you peaceful and you good sitting in it. All right. Spirit, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted for Taurus and this uh, peaceful among thorns towards this black flower fragrance? 
all about pain, man. It's all about pain. And you comfortable with it. How? Well, Leah, I just been doing it for 10 years and 14, 17, 15 years. And oh, so, so it's just a way of life now. You need to write a book because I'll be the first to read your book. So you got a card that came out over Peaceful Among Thorns, but it's face down. When a card is face down, it talks about what you do not see or what you cannot see. Look, surrender to inner peace. Mm. It says, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. And quiet meditation. Didn't they just say that? Wait a minute. Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation and contemplation. I thought that's what. Oh. Oh. Focus on the stillness within. Didn't they just say that over here? Let go and enter, enter the stillness within. Okay. Now I see the difference. Okay. It says, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. So in order for you to be uh, peaceful and everything, you got to go within yourself. Because everything outside or surrounding you is full of it. Or stressful or painful. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So... Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis is um, the inner peace, right? But it says in quiet meditation and contemplation in silence. See? It says in quiet meditative moments, focus on stillness within. Over here it says let go and enter. Two different steps. They mean two different things. So over here... They tell you to cultivate, bring forth, gather, grow. And then when you surrender to the silence, they tell you in quiet, meditative and contemplative state. So this is the beginning of you entering in inner peace. And this is you being within that inner peace of silence. That's the difference. Okay. So surrender to your inner peace. Let me tell you something. There's two birds here. So we have twos again that are flying towards you with your little black on in this image on fire. See, look at the birds. They're on fire. And look at Taurus over there surrendering all that negativity and darkness. What are you wearing at this time? What is your darkness or that black that you wear? Being comfortable with a heartbreak, being comfortable in an injured state. So now you got these two birds. Birds represent messages coming towards you and they are on fire. What is the fire? The motive, the motivation, the passion, the drive is coming. It's coming. But you have a choice because it's two birds to accept it or not. To go through the threshold of releasing it or not. Right, Taurus? So what needs to change here is a card of five. A caring connection, a relationship situation. And why does it need to change? Because the seat is here. And these two cards make the what? The seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Are you telling me you have either learned about the seat within a situation, whether it's, uh, you know, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend cheating, your husband, your wife, they doing something they're not supposed to, a friend, because a caring connection could be anything, a work situation, a relationship, a school situation, uh, a doctor and a patient, a mother and a son, a father and a daughter. It doesn't matter. They just say caring relationship with one feminine energy, one masculine. They never said a love connection. People see this and they go crazy. But what is what happens within a, a connection factor of the two? Because two talks about two becoming one or connecting factors, a caring situationship, deceit. What have you learned about? And this deceit comes up in here and fuels your fire. Look at you. Heat it. Deceit is the drive. Deceit is the action. See? And then the thing about it is tools of the deceit 
The seed is a two. Doorway, gateway, opportunities, missed opportunities. See? Uh, communication factors of conversating and debating. Connecting factors. Two becoming one. See there? The bonding factors. What have you learned? What have you seen? Deceit. But see, the thing about it is, deceit not looking at this Karen connection. Deceit is looking at that get back, payback of the fire prince. Look. Deceit is turning its back on a Karen connection. Uh, Tools also talk about law enforcement being called out towards don't get in no trouble trying to blow up something to catch something on fire, burn down somebody's house. I'm telling you. Now, the thing about the, the, the fire prints, it's a four. It's a four. Optimis, optimism and aggression. You are either going to heat up a situation, you know, heat it up where, um, some, something is exposed or something was exposed. Like, you know, you know how you get into an argument and then, you know, that truth comes out, hidden truth. I didn't love you anyway. I was cheating with your best friend anyway. It can be anything. So when you add fire to a situation, it heats it up. So anger and rage and frustration, it comes out. Or oh, you get so hot that deceit has fueled it. To the point where you say, you know what? I'm finna burn it down. Tear it down. That's like that towel moment. Blow it up, baby. I ain't got time. Bye. You done hurt me. You know, whatever. So that's what's going on. That's why I said, did the first one roll into the second one? Or this is a whole nother. This could be a whole nother situation. But they telling you to calm down. Calm down over here. We don't need nobody getting in trouble. So let's look at um, deceit. Spirit says deceit. Let's see what this deceit is. Because your deceit is a two. But your uh, fire prince is a four. Spirit for Taurus. Clarify deceit. What is this deceit for Taurus? Okay. you A loss of a new beginning. Oh my God. Taurus. Don't go get in trouble. Someone was um, distracted and being held back, right? And they didn't see the value or the worth of a caring connection. I can tell you that. I see that. Because caring connection is on the same side as these four coins. What was being held back? The relationship could not grow or the situation could not move forward. And, and, and the divine worth is, you know, surrounded in confusion. But the other thing, it could indicate someone else being here, right? Because this dog in the new beginning represents friend or enemy, right? So when you talk about your friend or your enemy of that dog, who was the friend? Where, where, did, where does deceit apply? Mm -hmm. Taurus, where does deceit apply? apply and then the thing about it is i hear repetitious cycle repeating cycle some of you have been in this situation before or you're still with the person who you are constantly going in circles with because the thing about it is when you look at the fool the fool has a new journey of love in their hand but the fool is going to tell you his staff is going to tell you why he's not moving at this time or why this new beginning is not coming in at this time because the staff is still pointing back here at this loss, being left out, being abandoned, being confused, not paying attention. Somebody is literally, the, the, the new beginning is usually, is like giving their back to the loss or the loss is giving his back to the new beginning and somebody is sitting over here watching. Let's look up under the bottom of the deck. What's under the bottom of the deck? Victory is here though. Victory towards who? The Queen of Swords, a logical feminine energy with that big old sword. About what? Ending the cycle, laying down burdens. Is it what? Tired of being wounded. Tired of the repetitious cycle. Journeying alone. Right? Following their light. And where is the hermit's light leading them? Towards uh, the Eight of Coin. 
Uh huh. They somebody's waiting to take action, waiting to go forward. I'm gonna explain these cards. What towards what? Oh, so now we get it. Okay, Taurus. Somebody got it. Good. So it talks about victory, which is the new journey over the five of staff in the background, which is the conflict of action, right? New journey towards someone's mental, a feminine energy in their mental. Somebody's getting it. Yes. Putting them swords down. Because see, the thing about the queen of swords, see, you want to be all bad and everything. You have your sword up and ready to fight. But guess what? Just like you got that sword up, ready to fight, it's blocking your vision and your mental. So you finally put it down and you decided to have a look around. What? Oh, yeah. And the water is there as well. You don't see it? So they finally decide to what? Lay down their burdens. Why? Because a new journey was at hand or is at hand. That's the ace of staff away from the wounded warrior. I'm tired of this. Round and round we go. I'm tired of being hurt i'm tired of sitting in pain i'm tired of my heart being hurt i'm tired of this i'm tired of that i'm tired of yeah i can't take it anymore i can't take this relationship situation anymore and i'm tired of the deceit because maybe there was a blow up and deceit came out or was exposed or i just got to the point where i just had to what blow it up I had to blow up the whole situationship because I couldn't take this pain anymore. I wasn't peaceful. I was in confusion. Now the big heartbreak or uh, explosion happened because this flower is exploding over the chest. Breakthrough. That's why I said somebody needs a breakthrough, right? I got breakthrough kids to help you. So listen, so someone said, I'm tired of this repetitious cycle. I'm going to go on my journey alone, baby, and I'm going to follow the light. And where is the light leading me to my eight of coin? What is the eight of coin? Someone who has value in their path, value in their hand, and uses that tool to build up a balance. That's the six of coin. And when they do that, someone takes action. What? A new journey. They build themselves a new new journey to go through the threshold. You see those two red staff go through the threshold. One foot over the threshold and the back foot just need to follow and push yourself forward. Because what is on your mind, I'm waiting to take action towards my worth, my value, my goodness, my wholeness. See? My, you know, abundance, my wealth. And water is on both of these cards. So you do what you got to do, Taurus. Who's going to stay in a repetition cycle? They telling us you need to surrender to peace so you can find yourself. They told you that twice. So you do what you got to do, Taurus. Ain't no holding back, baby. It's your birthday, man. One time for the birthday, chick. You know. I don't know how you spend your birthday, but I'm just saying. I think that's it, Taurus. Spirit ain't, it didn't say break down anything else, but we good. So, you, if you, let me, let me, let me talk to you about this, uh, fight frame. When you ground, because the forest talks about stabilization, grounding, bringing down, being brought down, being calmed down. Optimism is that for, is that fire prince. This is what's going to be your action, passion, drive to leave a deceitful relationship, situationship, or it's going to be your action, passion to get out of being uh, comfortable, sitting in pain while your chest or your heart is hurt. You cannot be yourself. And when we talk about the flip side of four, what, it, what needs to be buried? What needs to end? What needs to be completed? What needs to be restricted, rejected? The deceit of a caring connection or a situation ship. See that? Or what needs to be rejected, restricted? No more being comfortable sitting in pain while your heart hurts. You see? 
No more confusion, sadness, depression. It's time to get out of that because you want that inner peace, that peace. So you do what you got to do, Taurus. So until I see you guys for either your energy or your love reading, take care, work it out, figure it out. Anybody who wants to comment, comment, please. I comment back. Anybody who uh, wants a kit, a reading, you can email me or go to my website at Enlightened Mystic. Just do what you got to do. Do what's best for you. Okay? So I'm Leah. Until I see you guys again, take care, work it out, figure it out.